outside of China like the United States. Oh, so what is TikTok? TikTok is a social media video app that creates short videos that are unique and funny. Uh, they're available on both iOS and Android devices with 75 different languages. Uh, it became the most downloaded app on the month in October 2018. And expansion through partnership and mergers are ways that TikTok is using to help expand and Gain profits. Uh, one of the ways um, they're doing that with partnership, they're doing a partnership with the NFL in the United States. Uh, pretty much what they're doing is uh, NFL is putting their information on TikTok so they can get more more people to follow NFL and merge with, like Musically. Uh, they're joining uh, or they merge with TikTok. Uh, so it could be like more people, more people from the United States using uh, TikTok. So how do you use TikTok? Uh, the home screen, what you can see right here is in the bottom left hand with the home page. Uh, it has two tabs on the top. Uh, it is the following tab and the for you tab. The following tab is pretty much uh, people that you follow. Uh, you see what they share or what they post. Uh, the for you tab is like popular uh, videos in that day. Uh, and it gives you the opportunity to add the person that shares it, like it, comment, and share it to your friends and other social media apps. So the discover page will be the little magnifying glass right here, and it shows popular videos based on hashtags. Uh, it also gives you the ability to search hashtags so you can see whatever you want. Uh, the middle button will be creating your own video. It's usually about 15 seconds each each video, and it could be up to a minute. So that's four videos that you can make. Uh, it has spatial capabilities like speeding up your video, speeding down your video. You can put beauty mode and add filters, effects, stickers, and filters. Uh, for your profile, it was easy to sign up. For me, it was less than a minute. I signed up with my Facebook app, so it was pretty easy to sign up. Uh, and then from the Profile, you can see the people that follow you, the followers, and how many likes you got. Thank you. And now, we are going to talk about the TikTok monetization strategies. Uh, TikTok, or according to uh, Crunchbase, is an application that generates up to $1 million uh, each year. Uh, the monetization strategy of TikTok is basically based on two main sources. The coins, that is a currency that is based on the app, and the uh, sponsor, yeah, I include the hashtag, the takeovers, and the lenses. Um, regarding the coins, you can find those so, um, as a form of different like uh, amount. You can find up to ten thousand coins, and uh, the 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 meaning of those coins is just to uh, give some sort of reward to the creator in the platform, and you can buy them dir directly on TikTok. Um, the, um, there is a special amount that goes directly to TikTok and a special amount that goes to the creators. Uh, in the part of the brand deals and the sponsorship, there is three different. The first one are the sponsor lenses that are uh, augmented reality lens that being uh, put on your face directly on TikTok. Generally, uh, companies such as Mac, Chanel, etc. could use them to promote their product or their new collection. There is the burn takeover. Uh, the burn takeover are special because that's generally like up to five seconds uh, just pre-roll before you have the app. And the sponsor hashtag are the most common and the most used by brands because it gives them like exposure uh, during um, um, a special amount of time. 
Uh, now we are going to talk about the marketing benefits. Uh, there is two, most of them, uh, the price first and the contact point with the Gen Z. Uh, the price, TikTok is really recent of the app, uh, so the advertising price is really cheaper compared to Instagram, Facebook and that kind of stuff that are more mature. Um, you can also find other type of um, users on TikTok, mainly the Gen Z. The range is generally up to 10 to 17 years on TikTok, so they are pretty like young. And um, for marketers, the best practices could be to respect the TikTok like culture and that kind of stuff. So promote funny, easy to create and unique content and avoid any like salesy speeches when you collaborate with brands and use the previous ad that I showed you, like infinitive content, brand takeovers, hashtag, and brand links. So now we're gonna talk about the marketing risk. So the return of investment. Um, sadly, that the TikTok app is, is still new, so it's not as popular and versatile as the other apps. Next is the app is still struggling with transitioning from Doyen, which was launched in China September 2016, and came out to America in September 2017, which is what we know as TikTok. So some of the politics about TikTok is that since it's a, it's a Chinese app, it had to go through many steps and routes to get to the US. So some marketing risk that we found was is that the US is the biggest market in the world, according to medium.com, and if TikTok HQ and US has like a little argument, then they wouldn't have a market in, in America, so the app would potentially fall down and drastically drop. <clears throat> now we're going to talk about a few sample campaigns as well. So TikTok is actually one of the more innovative side of platforms when it comes to forms of marketing, right? So they use a kind of campaign mix of campaigns like YouTube, right? This is a global campaign that you would typically see on YouTube. They'll have a TikTok tune in the background. This is just something that they use to kind of bring people into the application, right? They also use leverage uh, movies and entertainment music platforms such as Spotify. Apple Music as well, and they also use social other social platforms such as Musical.ly. Um, they use Instagram as well, Snapchat, and TV ads. So when it comes to campaigning, TikTok has been very effective when it comes to using multiple streams to bring people to your platform. And that's TikTok. Yeah.